And this is a real good one too. Stop taking advice or criticism from people that you wouldn't trade places with. Straight up. Somebody like you can only take somebody as far as you've come yourself. Okay. Um, I've, I've been training at the dojo for a year and a half now doing boxing. I can only train somebody else to that level. Okay. I could never compete in a proper fight. Like I would never challenge, um, you know, like a world-class fighter to a fight that, that would be stupid. Right. But I could train like a beginner probably. So you can only take somebody as far as you've come yourself. Now I'm close to 50. I've lived a long life, done a lot with business, uh, been uh, in lots of relationships, been married, been divorced. I'm in a good relationship right now. Um, I can talk a lot about that stuff. I can talk a lot about business. I can talk a lot about startup. I can talk a lot about cars. I can talk a lot about self-care. These, you know, these, these are things that I understand. So I'm going to come back to again, distill it. Never take advice from somebody that you wouldn't trade places with. It's as simple as that. I mean, it's one of the reasons why I inherently knew growing up as a younger man, I would always lean into guys older than me. I always wanted to be in rooms where a guy was like 20, 30 years older than me. And it was just an opportunity. And I don't want to use the term pick his brain because that's not what I did. But to develop dialogue in a relationship and a friendship so that you can learn more about the life that they've lived, the things that they've done, where they've been and all that sort of stuff, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, don't take criticism from anybody you wouldn't trade places with. Hate always comes from beneath. I've talked about this before. Nobody ever gets jealous of a loser. And don't take advice from anybody that's a nobody or has only been a somebody for a short period of time. You got to be very careful with that.